In the blue corner, from Curitiba, he fights out of the Gala Fight Center on Prime. His coaches are Carlos Quan and Alfredo Oliveira. He's 32 years old, 1.88 meters tall. He's right-handed, 34 fights, 26 victories, 19 knockouts, 8 losses. His name is Fabio Alberto. In the red corner, his opponent, also from Curitiba, he fights out of the city Noguchi. His coach is Fabio Noguchi. He's 24 years old, 1.83 meters tall. He's right-handed, four fights, two victories, two knockouts, two losses. His name is Guilherme Assis. Fabio definitely the more experienced fighter of the two with 34 fights. Guilherme with four fights only, but he is a much younger fighter, 24 years old, compared to Fabio's 32 years old. Fabio is the taller fighter at six foot two, compared to about six foot, just over six feet tall for Guilherme. Guilherme starts off the fight with a left jab. Fabio next with a low kick. Another low kick to the back leg of Guilherme. Good kicks by Fabio, followed by a good counter left hand by Guilherme. Low kick happened by Fabio. Definitely wasn't on purpose. Guilherme shakes it off, given a few seconds to try and shake it off best he can. Referee Andre standing watch, ready to start the fight again. Just as Fabio was starting to execute his kick, Guilherme moved in. Definitely not on purpose. Fighters show respect for each other, touch gloves, and they're off again. 187 pounds. These guys have a lot of speed, but a lot of power. A lot of power. Guilherme looking a little bit jittery. Good front kick by Fabio. A little bit of holding by Guilherme. Told by the ref to stop it, knock it off. Good leg kick by both fighters to the lower leg. And again. Another holding by Guilherme. No warning this time by the ref. Oh, and another low kick, it seems, to Guilherme. Let's see the replay on that. I don't know if that was on. Oh, it was certainly not on purpose. Fabio is definitely a very fast fighter, very aggressive, and he's very strong. Guilherme has a look of frustration on his face. Fabio is very strong. He's really aggressive. He's just stalking, stalking Guilherme. There goes both fighters into the clinch. Once again, the clinch has time limit. And they break it up. Both fighters again, down to the ground this time. Both of these fighters, again, are tall fighters, fast, and at a weight that is very, very dangerous. Good front push kick by Fabio, pushing Guilherme back into the ropes, followed by a right hand that pushes Guilherme back into the ropes one more time. Both fighters still feeling each other out the last 30 seconds or so of this first round of this three round Super fight, live from Curitiba. Good leg kick by Guilherme, another good leg kick by Guilherme, almost, oh, and a good left hand by Guilherme. Excellent, oh, and a high kick executed by Guilherme, blocked by Fabio, but still was a great kick. Fabio, now he is looking a little bit frustrated as Guilherme was able to ward off all of those attacks and come back in the last part of this round with a lot of great techniques, really good techniques especially for a guy his size. 
Respect to each other, back to their corners. And Fabulous back to the blue corner, Guilherme back to the red corner as they take their ring to come out for the second round of this fight. Let's see what their coaches have to say and how they change their plans. Welcome back to round two of this three round super fight live from Curitiba, Brazil. Fabio so far the more aggressive of the two fighters, but Guilherme definitely showing he has great technique. Even though he's the younger fighter, he has great skill and great resilience. Good front kick by Fabio. Good right hand by Fabio, a little bit wild. And both fighters down to the ground one more time. This is the second time in this fight. Touch gloves and off they go for this second round. Oh, and a good right hand by Fabio as he moves in. Judges the distance just right. Oh, and a good right overhand knocking Guilherme down. Not enough for a count. Fabio definitely into a really defensive position, waiting for his shot. And there they go into the clinch one more time. Broken up by the referee. Oh, and it, Fabio is definitely on a mission in this fight. He wants to win this fight. Guilherme is looking a little bit more cautious than he did in the last part of that first round. Good front push kick by Guilherme. Moves himself forward, unable to set up for the second and third combination attack. Fabio keeps moving in with a left and a right. Stops, unable to move in with anything else after for a third or fourth attack. Fabio definitely standing his ground, not feeling intimidated at all by the younger fighter, Guilherme. Good front kick by Guilherme, a little bit off the mark, but still a good technique executed. Oh, and a good leg kick by Fabio. Slip by Guilherme as he falls to the ground. Slips to the ground. Both fighters back into the center of the ring. Guilherme starting to use a little bit more movement now. Hard to tell. Fabio's really stern faced. It's hard to tell if he's any emotion at all, but he seems to be a little bit tired. Like I said, no emotion at all, so it's hard to tell, but it seems like he is tired. His technique is not quite as forceful, not quite as clean, not quite as crisp as it was. Guilherme moving in with a good combination. High kick, low kick. Blocked by Fabio, but just. Good high kick by Guilherme, just over the top of the head. Fabio said, oh, and a good left, good left front leg kick by Fabio. Fabulous, excellent, powerful, great technique. Blocked by Guilherme, but still an excellent technique.
Let's see what the third round of this second fight of the night will bring. Both fighters want this fight. They know this is important for their careers. They know this is important for their future. They're going to give it their all. Fabio seems to be a little bit, or Fabio seems to be a little bit more cautious in this last two rounds of this fight. Very fast jab with the front leg from Fabio. Both fighters definitely being a little bit more cautious. Oh, and a good left hand by Fabio. Oh, and a good overhand fake by Guilherme with his left leg and an overhand left. Catching Fabio off guard. Oh, and a good... Good leg kick by Guilherme, followed by a good counterattack punch by Fabio. Catching Guilherme off guard. Both fighters move in, attempting simultaneous attacks. Neither one connecting with anything. Fabio moves in with a left jab, trying to get in close for a combination, set up another, another attack, unable to do so. Into the clinch one more time. Referee breaks him up again. Both fighters getting tired now. Oh, and a good right hand by... Guilherme blocked easily by Fabio, but still a good right hand. Fabio looking a little bit more tired now, a little bit more cautious. Oh, but a good execution. Powerful back leg. Explosive leg kick by Fabio. That came out of nowhere. Excellent technique. If he could do that a few more times, I'm sure. I'm sure that he would kick him out, catch, catch Guilherme off guard. Right knee to the side, left side of Guilherme. Fabio unable to execute it strongly enough, even though it wasn't blocked. Good overhand right by Guilherme. Back into the center of the ring. Both fighters looking tired now, both executing mediocre techniques. Good left jab from the front leg of Fabio, trying to set up, trying to set up, unable to do so. Allowing Guilherme to move in with a right hand, almost catching Fabio off guard. There goes a good left from Guilherme. Wild, but if it connected, a lot of power in that punch. Both fighters into the clinch one more time. Referee breaks them up one more time. Guilherme trying, using his boxing skills, leaving himself a little bit open. Fabio still with a great defense, keeping his hands up. High, very high, very tight. Even though he's tired, he's still able to keep that up. He knows that there could be any, anything coming at any time, and he wants to make sure that he is ready. Coming to the end of this fight now, and there goes the bell. Good fight, both fighters showing respect for each other. Not the most exciting fight, folks. A little bit of uh, lack of emotion on both parts here, if you ask me. Good combination. Both fighters are good fighters. They both have excellent skill. Let's see where we're going with this one. And by unanimous decision, once again, and the winner of the super fight of the 187-pound class is Fabio Alberto. Alberto.